Well, here's a video I just made for my retro gaming channel on this cool device, how to align your Commodore 1541 drive. So check out this video, and then check out my retro gaming site. Link is right there. So I want to do a quick intro to this disk alignment video. I have a ton of alignment programs. Check this out, 1541 physical exam, the disk aligner. You can download this from my blog. A pretty good one is the Vorpal one by uh, Epic. It has alignment on it. There's one over here from CSM. I have a couple copies of the Free Spirit one, including the original one here. I have an oscilloscope, which I've used before. And coolest of all is this little device. I just talked to Ray Carlson last week about how does he align 1541s. I assumed it was a oscilloscope. He said, no, I don't use a oscilloscope. I use the uh, Free Spirit. Like most of us, we use the 1541 demo disc because that was printed by Commodore. It's very common I use this along with this. And there's one more I want to show you that's really good. Okay, so this one here is a 1541 diagnostic cartridge from World of Jani or Jani. And basically it's free to download from this website. And then you just stick it on an easy flash cartridge. This one here, I use this program all the time. So you're going to do an alignment check. Again with the 1541 test demo disc, stick that in the drive. So a lot of times I'll use this program while I'm actually adjusting the, while I'm adjusting the rewrite head. If you're using the Free Spirit software, just note that the only thing that matters is the full tracks, not the half tracks. Never be concerned about the half track. I mean, very few programs use half track. Uh, some copy protection might, but you're never going to get both satisfactory. So just focus on the full tracks with the Free Spirit. You'll drive yourself crazy and you'll never get full tracks and half tracks aligned. Go with the full track. Alright, so this is a this is a really good program right here also. Here's what I was saying with the Free Spirit alignment. Again, use the 1541 alignment board. You go for satisfactory. Do not worry at all about the half tracks. Very rarely are you going to get half tracks and full tracks align. It's darn near impossible. See? Don't worry about that. It says poor. Don't worry about that. That's half track. We don't care about half tracks. You should not care. You should not care about half tracks. It's not important. And except for the few copy protections that use it. All right, let's continue on. So we have this kit. We're going to build this kit because we're going to use it to align a Commodore 1541 drive. Although it comes in pieces. So I printed out a bigger picture and we got this picture, hopefully decent manuals. And we're going to go put this together. All right, I got my soldering iron warming up. Circuit board. Oh, it looks like it's labeled pretty decent. Feels like it's a um, plastic card, I don't know. Bunch of resistors. Let's go ahead and start and let's have some fun. All right, so once I have these in place where I want them, I spread the legs in the back a little bit so they stay in place. Double check the solders, make sure it's a nice cone, and then we can snip these off. Next thing we gotta figure out is the resistor chart. It tells you uh, the numbers, four, seven, three. You're gonna need a resistor chart like this. 
four, seven, three is yellow, purple, orange. And so I double checked every one of these. They are in order, but I wanted to make sure. There should be a dip on one side, make sure that dip matches this. They have to face the correct direction. There, and make sure all the pins, make sure no pins are missing before you solder this in. We're gonna go ahead and solder this in one at a time. You can put a piece of tape across here to hold these in place while we solder them. I don't want them to go in uh, soldering crooked, so the tape will hold them until we just tack in a couple pins, and then we can remove the tape. Another part installed. Capacitors. It's nice, they're all 47 UFC. Look on your capacitor. I know this is beginner stuff. I'm gonna look for the, the negative side here. And the board should have that marked. Let's see. So it's plus minus, and then these are gonna fold down. So be real careful about that. It's not gonna work if you screw this part up. Oh, the sun's going down. The sun's going behind a cloud. Messing with my light. We're on step 11. We're going to put in the chips. I'm only going to put in uh, IC2 because I ordered a, a, um, a different chip to put in here, IC1. Something that's going to boost this signal. Again, you got to make sure you put these in the right way. The... Uh, Short leg is the cathode, cathode faces down on this example. But check the instructions, it sh clearly shows you. So I'm gonna put in a couple of these and solder these in real quick. Man, I'm super excited to show you this new way to the line of 1541. Check this out. It's actually not new. It's from a post I found from uh, 2008 about this little device. I got it hooked to my 1541. And we're gonna adjust the heads here. Let's see how I can film this. Gotta loosen these screws up. Well, you see we just lost the light. Oh, we really screwed this up. It needs a line. Let's get back to work. It's a little better. I think we're going the wrong direction. Let's go ahead and push this down all the way. Okay, now let's work our way back up. Whoa. I'm tighten this up a little bit. Check this out. I got a pretty strong signal here now. I'm going to try to lock it down. Hit initialize. Back to track 18. Let's jump up. Track 17. Track 16, there we go. Let's see if we can um, tighten down these screws right here and here. And see if we can keep, uh, hopefully the lights stay there. Sometimes it can move slightly there when you tighten down the screws, so do that really carefully. That is it. Uh, post your questions in the comments below. This is just a different way to align your 1541 drive. 
Well, here's the setup. You build this kit, you attach positive negative voltage. We got a ground line, the green, the ground we're gonna attach to the chassis here. The, yellow, the yellow line is on low and that goes to pin 7 of U4 and that is right there and that's all there is to it what I did notice when you're doing this is um, go down to tracks like 10 and 12 the signal is a little stronger there and um, it worked better alright that's pretty cool it's pretty easy to Pretty easy to align your drive this way. I'm gonna go lock this drive down. But this is a really cool project. I probably have $25, $30 in this project. I don't know, it was just kind of fun.